Hi, this is Lee Vogler. I know it's a Friday night and everybody's trying to relax and enjoy the weekend, so I'll be real quick about this. But I just wanted to make a few brief comments about the street light reduction that is being tested out right now uh, as we speak and will be rolled out uh, officially, I guess, in the months uh, ahead. Uh, and I just, I hope that if people can take just one thing from all of this is that regardless of whether you agreed with this particular proposal or not, um, I just think it shows that if you believe in something strongly enough and if you continue to work hard for it and you, know, you never lose sight of, uh, of what you want to achieve and you never falter, you never waver, and you keep pushing for something, that uh, you can achieve anything that you want to. Uh, don't let somebody tell you that uh, one of your dreams or one of your goals can't be achieved uh, because it's simply not true. Uh, usually people who tell you that you can't uh, achieve a goal or a dream of yours, those are the people who didn't follow through on dreams or goals that they had and they're bitter about it. And So I just I hope that, that people out there that you see that whether it's Danville or, or wherever that if you if you really believe strongly in something fight for it and fight every day for it and never give up and never stop and never ever let somebody tell you that you can't do it because you can you can and you will if you fight hard enough for it um, so I'm I'm very pleased to see that the city has picked up on the streetlight reduction proposal that will save thousands and thousands of dollars for the city each year. Um, obviously, I think myself and, and I'm sure everyone involved with the city, uh, public safety is, is obviously always a top priority and I would never advocate for something that would reduce uh, public safety to an uh, unsufficient level. Um, but I don't think this does that whatsoever and I think you'll see that other cities that have done it in the past couple of years have found it to be very productive, very helpful, and uh, and the savings have been tremendous. So I'm hoping for the same thing here in Danville. Obviously, we know we're living in tough times economically. Our city is facing a deficit right now with the budget. Um, but you know, I want to keep things positive tonight. So this is a great day for those of us who have been fighting for efficiency in our government and in our city. And I want to thank everybody who has uh, been supportive of this proposal and everyone for their input and their comments uh, the last few months. And like I said, if you take anything out of this, just know that if you want something bad enough and if you believe strongly enough in it, fight for it. You can and you will make it happen. I promise you. So I hope everybody has a great night, a great weekend, and uh, best of luck in the days ahead. In the days ahead. Thanks.